Civilization. A civilization is an organized group of humans that have culture and government. Most early civilizations in Central America didn't use metal weapons. Convenient. When something is convenient, it is easy to do and does not take a lot of work. The bus is a convenient way to get to school. Den. A den is a living space for some types of animals, such as lions. The mother lion left her babies in the den. Dew. Dew is the drops of water that form on the ground outside during the night. When we woke up, we saw that the grass was covered in dew. Drastic. When something is drastic, it is extreme or major. She made a drastic decision to get her long hair cut short. Exit. To exit means to leave. The students exited through the front door. Flock. A flock is a group of animals such as birds, sheep, or goats. There was one black sheep in the entire flock. Fold. To fold is to bend something like paper or cloth so that it takes up less space. I folded the paper and put it in my pocket. Lid. A lid is a top for a box or container that can be removed. He lifted the lid of the box and revealed her present. Loom. To loom is to seem very large and often scary. The ominous clouds loomed over the school. Mighty. When something is mighty, it is strong and large. The mighty wrestler scared all who faced him. Mushroom. A mushroom is a fungus with a round top. Some are used as food. The soup had fresh mushrooms in it. Native. When something is native, it is originating in a certain place or area. Avocados are native fruits of Mexico. Poison. Poison is a dangerous substance that causes illness or death. They used poison to get rid of the rats in their home. Reed. Reeds are tall and skinny plants that grow in groups near water. The sun set behind the reeds of the lake shore. Shield. To shield something is to protect it. She shielded her eyes from the sun with sunglasses. Stormy. Stormy describes something affected or characterized by storms. The golfers decided to go home because of the stormy weather. Sway. To sway is to move slowly from side to side. She swayed while she listened to the music. Urban. When something is urban, it is related to the city. Subways are an important form of urban transportation. Wade. To wade is to walk in or pass through water. The child waded in the water at the beach. Kara goes camping. Kara, would you like to go camping with my family? Asked Tracy. Kara had never been camping before, but she decided to go anyway. That weekend, they drove to Estes Park. When they arrived, Kara looked around. She felt so far from civilization. After they set up the camp. 
they went for a walk. Tracy's father, Mr. Greaves, showed them the native plants and animals. Look, he said, that's a fox's den. Do you see that bunch of mushrooms next to it? Don't touch them. They contain poison. Kara was bored. She didn't care about nature. As the day went on, mighty clouds soon loomed in the distance. It looks like stormy weather, said Tracy. We should go back. It suddenly began to rain. They used an umbrella to shield them from the rain. Back at the camp, they ate cold sandwiches for dinner and went to sleep. By morning, the rain had stopped. It was a drastic change from the previous day's weather. They folded their sleeping bags and put them in a box. Tracy closed the lid and told Kara, Today will be fun, I promise. Kara didn't believe her. She missed her convenient life in the city. She was used to an urban lifestyle. After breakfast, they went for a walk. The grass was covered with dew, and it gleamed in the sunlight. Finally, they reached a lake. Kara and Tracy waded into the water. The reeds swayed in the wind, and a flock of birds flew above. Kara felt very peaceful. That night they made a fire. They sat around it while Mr. Greaves told scary stories. Kara had a lot of fun. Camping was a good way for friends to spend time together, she realized. The next day it was time for them to leave. She felt sad while they exited the park. She didn't like camping at first, but she learned how fun it could be over the weekend.